Hi students, I welcome you all in lecture number 21 where in which we'll study about some important plugins uh, in the WordPress and these are the very core and premium things uh, which you should apply in uh, your every development. We Every developer should know about these uh, and these are the must use plugins and every upcoming lecture is very important in this regard. So what we will learn today we will see some more, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, we will see some more backup uh, uh, plugins, which is updraft plus and all important export. This is paid. And we'll uh, also see some more security plugins, which is Jetpack, Security and WP Scan. And these are the most important plugins. Uh, which are like uh, important for security. Then we will see the language selector in a website. If we want to change any website into like uh, our version is Swedish and we want to convert it uh, for the English or Dutch or any other language selector, we can display that, that selector into the uh, any top or bottom or any side of the website. <coughs> Then we can also apply a currency switcher. Uh, that means, uh, for example, if our currency is Swedish Kron and we want that if a person want, uh, is, is from USA and he wants uh, the product price in the USD, then we can uh, give the different options for the currency. So he, uh, the customer can switch the currency according to his uh, um, country and the rates will be like adjusted accordingly and then we'll see the integration of web shop our web shop uh, with the social media all type of social media uh, every social media in the theme or with the plugins we will see everything then we'll study about what is facebook for woocommerce and uh, what is the benefit of uh, adding the facebook for woocommerce plugin and what is the benefit of adding pixel facebook pixel how it helps in marketing then we'll see some chatbots and customer service uh, in which specifically we'll be discussing talk.to this is a very uh, highly used plugin uh, all over across the world for customer services then we'll see a video session integration suppose uh, sometimes we we'll see that uh, some of the websites have some video session webinar type of things so how we can just uh, schedule any webinar or video session uh, we, how we can integrate that thing into our website and then we'll also see them customization of woocommerce again with the single product if we want to uh, change the look and feel of the products and how we can do that with the default page but uh, we, we think that we cannot just change it but yes we can do it with the elementor okay and the task is to just practice this on your servers so let us quickly move, move toward the browser. Okay, now we'll just move towards the browser and this is our dashboard. Okay, so now uh, in the last lecture, we have seen that uh, if we log out, we cannot just log in by the same link uh, because we have used the WPS hired login. So how we can uh, do that? Uh, let me just log out and check if that is working or not. Okay, now I'm log logged out. You see that here is the link of slash Daniel, my name. If I just try to log in with the WP dash admin, it will not work. It will just bring me to the error page. <coughs> So it is all with the security things and we have different uh, limitations. We can try password for three times, uh, not more than that. Okay, so this is searching and finding out the page and it will just redirect me to the page not found, okay. So now when I will just write this link, it will redirect to the admin, wp-admin, but 
on this link only. Here, okay. And then we'll just log in again. Okay, now it is getting logged in. So we are successfully logged in. Then uh, I will move towards the plugin. And first of all, we'll see the F draft. And I'll just go to plugins, add new. Okay, then if I'll write back up what it gives me. Okay, the updraft is on the front and it is like most used plugin. Okay, it has 3 million active installations. Simply install it. and okay we'll also see with all import okay wp all import is an extremely powerful importer that makes it easy to import anything Okay, then actuate it. <coughs> okay, and we'll also activate this uh, updraft here. Okay. Backup, restore, take backups locally, and okay. To or backup to Amazon S3, top box, Google Drive, Rackspace, FTP, web dev, and email on automatic schedules. So here we'll see that it is like it has given us a lot of options to take backup and will easily import or export anything. Um, I've opened after a plus here when I'll just click it and I'll click on the backup now it will include only allow this backup to be deleted manually yes it will take backup the time the database the files if I want to clone any specific database I can do that these are advanced tools or settings regarding this updraft plus So it is started it has started taking backup and here we have our draft plus backups okay in the settings here it is creating backup file a zip folder but uh, it is like quite easier so you can just uh, take your backup and update it here okay <coughs> Then uh, the next thing would be uh, if we'll just 
click on all import and if you want to import anything or you have imported anything you can check in manage imports this is the all import home page where you will import new things to your um, wordpress website this only supports import but it has various options for importing this specific plugin Okay, so it is giving up the three options, upload file, download any file and use existing file. If you uh, want to upload any new file, want to import that into the website. So, okay, uh, let's say um, importing this thing here. So it is like 100% uh, imported, but it does support XML, CSV, zip, gzip, uh, gz, json, SQL text, txt data data or PSV. So these are the supported files. Um, let's say I will I will upload this file. This is XCSV. So it will import. Okay. But uh, it, now it is asking you where should uh, it uh, the, in which folder it should import it. So this is the step two, and now you can just start importing your data, okay? And the last thing in the import export is if we'll just export this website and I will show you how to migrate it completely onto a separate website, okay? So I'll just take backup from the dashboard, from the settings, uh, sorry, from the tools simple export which is default export given by the wordpress so this is also of very much use okay right now when we'll be going to the site so this is our current site okay so what we have to change we'll just be changing the menu in the new website and the footer and most of the things or maybe the logo but most of the things will be coming back only theme options theme settings will not be in the import export but every other thing other than this header and footer the the body this images these headings and everything will be coming into the next website and i'll also show you what is on the this website Okay, so it doesn't have anything. It has like electro theme, but nothing is set up here. So first of all, we'll also have to match the themes in order to um, like migrate our website. <coughs> okay, so theme is ocean wp here and the theme would be appearance this is the one website where we will uh importing our data so i'll go to appearance and themes and i'll also try to make it a ocean wp okay it has another premium theme which is zante but i want to add new these both are premium Okay, it will show me here the Ocean WP. Okay, popular. Here, Ocean WP. I'll install it. <coughs> okay. Uh, until then, let me go to the plugins. Okay, just activate it first. It will ask you, ask us to install Ocean Extra plugin. Yes, it is asking us. 
So I'll install this Ocean Extra. Okay, now uh, all the plugins are updated. Let me see that it, it has Elementor and Elementor Pro as well. Okay. Uh, I'll update these plugins. Maybe I should remove these plugins after updating because they are deactivated and of no use in this thing, specifically Ocean WP. Um, okay, let me try to delete it. Okay, let's, uh, okay, it is, it has gone into maintenance. Till then it is in the maintenance mode, it will take some time. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just move on to the next thing. Which is security plugin Jetpack Sugurian WP scan. Uh, I'll be here. I'll be going to, okay, uh, I'll be going to plugins, add new. Okay, Jetpack. Um, okay, let it get installed, then I'll search for the new. Otherwise, this installation might affect if I'll search for new. Okay, then I'll search for WP scan. Okay. um these two are the similar i just want the scanner yeah that's okay and the third thing is security this one Okay, then uh, Sukuri. I right, just searching for the security plugin and uh, Okay, this is security, uh, security, security. I'll also install it. And okay, this is installed. Then I'll, I'll activate this one. Okay. Okay. 
security security let me find out where <coughs> is the option here in the menu it must be in tools or somewhere no here here okay security security let us go to the dashboard it also has a, its firewall okay it uh, it generates the logs when the users uh, perform any specific thing all the admins and any editors so it create logs of a uh, login and log out and links are 40 okay okay let us move to the okay you can generate api key here and we can set it here then this is the data storage where Scuri saves it's the data. Okay, this is the scanner, which will scan every other thing in the specific time, which time you allot it. Okay. And this is for post hack, and these are for alerts where you want to get notifications regarding Suguri plugin. And this is API service communication. This is the company as thing, and this is one website info is also for the company. Okay, I'll just click this dashboard. Okay, it has bring me to here again, and then we're just click on the firewall mod, uh, module okay it uh, needs the like api key and api key was not found okay and you can just sign up to the security uh, security uh, dot com and you can find your api key in the profile next is jetpack plugin <clears throat> okay, then uh, we'll see with the jetpack and we'll activate this one. This is also security performance and marketing tool. And this is done by automatic the developers who have uh, like made WooCommerce. Then we'll set up the jetpack. It is activating essential WordPress security features and all the performance tools uh, setting up which this company has given us in the Jetpack named plugin. Okay. Okay, now you can just uh, simply connect with the WordPress.com or continue with the Google or continue without signing in. I'll just continue with the Google. And let's see what happens. So it is authorizing my connection and everything is exactly like security. So I'll just move on to the next thing because this is the similar things and we'll uh, applying language selector and currency selector. Okay, then, uh, okay, this is our personal or store continue.
okay so now jetpack is at a glance my plan plans and recommendations and then we'll be going towards the lecture language selector or currency switcher will may apply google translate in order to change the language automatically okay right now the site is come looking like this now this okay uh, no language or currency switcher so i'll update the currency switch Oh, and uh, I'm installing currency switcher plugin. Um, okay then uh, i'll activate this currency switcher uh, because few things left maybe we cannot complete this all but yes until here okay okay the currency switcher is activated where is language g translate okay so right now everything is in english and we don't have any pop-up or drop down for the language selector okay plugin which plugin is that gts translator okay g translate go to settings okay so we don't have any feature of uh, like making it change to another language we'll have to set it up and auto switch browser language <clears throat> it must be shown in the top bar and the floating language selector in the top bar written language names here and it should be in arabic Dutch, and uh, the other languages but yes save changes and uh, then in the gt translate i'll be okay it is a nice drop down with the filled flags okay now these are the two language selector but i want one then i will just remove this show in the menu none and i just want this language selector this one here and let me just make uh, them like two languages yep just save changes okay let's refresh this page Okay, we can place it here the top right no scroll no scroll means it it will be fixed in the right or left
Okay, when I'll update this. It would become here. It would be coming here, yes. Then see when I'll just click on to the spanel, it this all will be changed. Yes, everything is changed. Okay. And suppose if I'll make it French, everything will be in the French. Okay. And for the currency, maybe it is under WooCommerce. Uh, okay, let us go to the plugins again. Okay, then uh, the currency switcher is they go to the settings here. Okay, this plugin is enabled the currency switching on the per product basis. Revert to the shop default location on checkout. Apply currency conversion to fix coupons. Add currency selector fixture. Fixed amount coupons here, here. Revolution of the currency switch. Order currency blade rounding. If Save changes. These are different currencies. Okay, right now the default is Swedish Crown and additional currency would be PKR. And currency number two would be USD. And I'll just save changes. So I can add two more currency. Then the exchange rate would be here. What is the exchange rate from PKR to Kron or dollar to PKR or dollar to Kron? Okay. And we'll just rates and the rates manually or update automatically after every minute from the central bank and it will be taken online and for one SAK one Swedish Corona would be equal to, I guess, 29 or 20 something. Okay, it is saved then USD is equal to 172 PKR. Now I'll just save changes. Okay, then I'll go to the countries. Countries IP should be matched when suppose if a person is opening it in US, then it will only show the US rate there. And separated comma text override country is disabled because if uh, other things would be override when the person from US, opens and if the currency only has the pkr then it will uh, like override the products with each other so this is disabled then language is the price format the flags of the currencies and advanced settings okay then save changes and you can just see the average thing of from there later on then i'll be jumping towards the chatbots and these three things will be in the next lecture because this chatbot will take time okay now i'll go to the plugins add new And I will add 
talk to you. Sorry, you know, the, the L. Yep. Live chat. Instantly chat with the visitor on his website with the free talk uh, to your chat widget website is talk to you will go to this website and make our account and we'll integrate that account with the talk to your plugin and at the dashboard we can open it on mobile or any other desktop and we can just chat live with the help of this plugin and i'll also add a automated type of chatbot here okay by the quantum cloud. Okay, I'll activate this one first. The automated version. Okay. Um, predefined. Okay. Go to the settings and WP bot light. These two pages. Okay. This is installed and these are the pro features which we don't want. Okay. Go to the settings always of the WP bot. Okay. Uh, general settings would be the email from where should be uh, email should be sent and from where and if you have like the language we start from right then you can enable rtl <clears throat> uh, like urdu arabic or something like that which, which is starting from here uh, here the right side english is starting from the left side Okay, then we'll go to the icons and themes and I'll just click on this one and FAQ Builder, suppose what is your name? I can just write anything or put any link here using this link thing and I can just make it go to the specific page my name is Daniel Arif. Then add new questions. What is the course name? Commerce, for example, and saves things. And let me come here. It will appear right here. Okay, see, it is appearing here and I can just disable this side card. Okay, then it is asking me that carry is a joint conversation name. Okay, where I can change these things, the inner things. Okay, go to the icons and themes. Okay, general, general settings. where it was start menu yes the agent name is uh test demo name is test welcome to the abc company and everything is set predefined just save it And then I'll just refresh this page. And this is also coming in the different language because the website language is now is French. I'll just change that into English first. Okay. I'll just make it English. Okay. Then I'll be coming here. 
let me first refresh the site. It will just change the name. Okay. Hi there, welcome to our website. What should I call you? You can call me Daniel. And I'm here to find what you need. It is like talking with me. Now you can just go in the settings and discover all of the things. First of all, if I'll, uh, I'll Daniel, please provide your email address, then I will write my email address. It is conversating with me. Thank you for the email address, provide your message below. Hi, I need help. Okay. And your email was sent successfully. You may choose the option from below. I want the FAQs now. What is your name? My name is Daniel Arif. Okay. Then uh, for the FAQ, what is the course name? WooCommerce. Okay. And leave your number. We'll call you back. Yes. Something like that. Any random numbers and send it here okay they'll say that they'll call you back okay thank you for your phone number we will call you as soon as possible and these were the things which was b this is for the refresh and the hair you close it and go to plugins activate talk to you and disable these two things because it will be coming here as well. Um, side card. Yeah, here. And chat bot here deactivate it deactivate it and uh, yeah then where is talk to you yep here live chat Okay, go to the settings for the talk to TO here. Oh, no, sorry, here. It will be bring me, it will bring me to the dashboard of the plugin and it will ask me to log into my account. I have accounts already. So I'll just log in. You can go to talk.to.com and just sign up. It's quite simple. .to.com. Sorry, what is the website? Talk.to. Okay, so here you will come and let me just select the property and select the widget default, you will select it widget. Now, when you refresh this page, these things will be hidden and the talk.to widget will be coming. Okay, it is visible, visible. Privacy, WooCommerce, display in the shop main page, every page. Okay, yes, it is coming now. So it will ask me to log in and send message, okay? And here you can just sign up for free. And you can just 
log in again here. Okay, thank you for today's lecture. Bye for now.